The day we've all been waiting for is here. Project Rebalance has arrived, and this is the biggest gameplay update in the history of the game. And even though it has an appropriately massive vlog, we're gonna touch on the major points to get you back to playing old school as quickly as possible. Welcome to RuneScape Chronicles, I'm your host, KemQ, and just like all of you guys, I was super excited to see the Elder Maul buff has happened. And now it has a special attack that's better at defense reduction than the Dragon Warhammer. Plus, they said it looked awesome. So I grabbed my Maul and gave it a swing. Wait. Pretty cool animation. But now that it has a special attack bar, you can go from your Elder Maul instantly into a double G Maul spec. I wanted to try it out. And in cases where the opponent has tanky armor, you can also spec with the Elder Maul first to reduce their defense by 35%. Melee weapons have always been versatile because they're divided into three styles, stab, slash, and crush. Ranged attacks had no such difference, and there weren't realistic choices outside of a well-defined meta. But as of today, ranged defense was split into weaknesses for heavy, standard, and light ammunition, with heavy being things like crossbows and ballistas, standard being your two-handed bows, and the light being thrown weaponry and the blowpipe. Tons of monsters have had range defense reductions, so take another look at the wiki before you head to your Basilisk Knights task. But there may have been an issue with today's update. This morning, a player at the Grand Exchange said his attack style was set to defense for him automatically. Not too sure about this, we can't confirm that he's right, but this is a warning to peers. Check before you click. Magic Defense has also received a complete overhaul. Now your max hit for each spell scales to the highest type of that spell you have available. This makes the new mechanic of elemental weaknesses, such as fire being strong against ice, feel pretty great, giving noticeable DPS for those who take the time to check. And don't worry, this won't be incredibly overpowered with the Tome of Fire, for example, because the bonuses have been lowered from 50 to 10% damage bonus for PVM, but remains unchanged for PvP, because players don't have elemental weaknesses. Speaking of lowered bonuses, the infamous Occult nerf is official, having been lowered from 10% to 5% bonus damage. But for most accounts, this is easily made up elsewhere, such as almost all mage armor giving 1% damage bonus, and especially augury now giving 4%. This is just a fraction of the changes and we've still got more to show. Hear ye, hear ye. There are actually even more updates to talk about. The Dragon Warhammer's drop rate has been buffed from 1 in 5k to 1 in 3k, shaving quite a few hours off the expected grind. Minimum hits have also been adjusted, so now if you don't miss your accuracy check, you will at least hit a 1. The faster your weapon or the lower your max hit, the more this is a buff. At higher levels, it doesn't change too much. But for those of you who want to hit nothing but zeros, the Necromancer south of Shazian has a commonly dropped amulet that should help splashing be unchanged. Prayer drain rate have been rebalanced and the tick delay has been removed from auto casting spells. Perhaps most exciting for PVMers, the monkey room at Tombs of a Masket has been reworked. Using opposing styles will always max hit the type aligned monkeys and their HP doesn't scale up with bigger raids, making this room a breeze now. Baba also hits less through prayer. Both variants of the nightmare have seen drop rate buffs across the board, with Inquisitor's set effect being tripled when wielding the Inquisitor's mace, and Ava's devices now work on javelin in accordance with the rebalance. And finally, a few quality of life updates hit, like preventing the Blood Moon Jaguar's hit point sap from hitting you after a teleport. Exactly what happened to Appropriate 2 from Reddit last week. Anyway, these are without a doubt some of the biggest gameplay update changes we've seen in the history of old school RuneScape, or maybe RuneScape in general. What is your favorite update of all of these? Leave us a comment in the comment section below. It's honestly funny. At no point did we ever... No! 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 Fuck you, Whisper! No! That's not funny! Oh my god! Why? Why? I, I ask again, why? Three Bellator vestiges in 592. You are taking the piss. With an approximate rate of 1 out of 512, getting 3 vestiges in 592 kills is wild. Oh. Jordan. What? Wait! Wait, wait, wait! How did both of you get trapped in that? I literally saw one of you run over there to free them. And you both got in it? Nah, that's, that's skill issue. That's not my fault. 
<laughs> that's that's not my fault. The reason I like PKing now is because I have you guys to talk to while hopping around and for Oh. Ginger Beard is going for the quiver and has already solved this stack. But his mouse has other ideas. Even after tilting, he doesn't want to give up. Pierce Bam's on a high-risk world and getting pestered by rushers. Oh, I need to hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes, good. Yes! Thank God he didn't gm all me there. Good fight, I almost died as well. Another rusher down for 130 mil. Beautiful. But three-legged Greggy has too much pride to quit while he's down. He's dead. He got animation stalled! He used Spellbook Swap and both of their hits stacked perfectly together. What? Oh, that was for 290 this time! <laughs> Russia down once again, cleaning up the high risk worlds. Oh. Pure Spam keeps upping the risk to make sure this rusher can't resist trying again. Yes, we killed him! No way! We actually killed him! I had to risk 1.3 billion gold there to kill that rusher again. How much did he have? 232 mil! Let's go, I got his dragon claws. 649 mil total from one guy. Well played, Pierce Bat. Wait, isn't that the guy I killed with the Elder Maul combo before? <laughs> oh yeah, this guy is not having a good day. Please let me piss off him at a good time. Call it a hunch, but I don't think that was the pit swap he wanted. He decides to test his luck at Bounty Hunter instead. One more big one, he smited! No! Wait! Was that an altar? There's no fucking way. Nah. Dude! Later, he's on a high risk world, and he's definitely risking high. A stone faced killer. I'd be a bit more excited than that for 709 mil. Totia Murray got some extended anti-fires from their 51st elite casket, which are on the mega rare table. So when he got more potions two caskets later, that's the same rarity as two third age items in three caskets. We understand why he says he was crying when he submitted this. Ouch. Love you. This is the guy that we were on earlier and survived. And honestly, at that point, he's going to survive again. He looks like he might be risking a little. Oh my God, I see Since opens. your arm is Since hurting. your arm is hurting. Again, I'm not sitting there complaining about the arm. I just feel like I've been complaining about the arm for the last nine months. I give updates now, you know? Oh, he's running. Oh, I gave him gap. That's annoying. Good fight. I don't blame him for running with 600 damage. I just somehow ran faster than him. If you get to the 30 line, I'll happily off you. Okay, come on, Opies. You've got just a few tiles to go. Good fight. Good fight, Mr. Opies. Very good fight. I feel like you stayed a bit too long there, if anything, man. Six I don't know how I closed the gap, by the way. Am I getting a DM? Absolutely not, Desmond. They meet for a rematch. There's like two people that are getting DMs, maybe three. And with a DM doesn't mean you're getting any GP because I'm poor. Oh, f That's actually worked so good for us. He didn't get the heal. We got the freeze. We now hit him with this, so he's panicking and doesn't think about getting a freeze escape. Then we hit him with a large barrage. Good fight. 
Let's give him this one, please. That was, a, that was a better kill. That one was a better kill. That was a nice kill. We played that very well. We actually played that very well as well. And we get 93 milli. Good fight to Mr. Obese. JCW managed to max his Iron Man at only 1600 hours of in-game time. That is the fastest it's ever been done. Freakahontas on Reddit pointed out that they're approaching base 80s despite having 800 more played hours than JCW. And Treblosity says he's close to base 80s as well, at 3600 hours of playtime. Needless to say, JCW had to plan every moment of his account and do some of the most click-intensive and efficient content in the game. If you want to see some of these insane tactics and a player who truly loves this game to its core, he uploaded the finale video yesterday. And that should tide you over until RuneScape Chronicles is back on Friday. Because for now, we're going to get back to testing out this new Elder Mall. Wish me luck, and I'll see you on Friday.